Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome for this new session. Today, I am going to show you how to build a regulated power supply from a single phase AC network. The idea here is to get from an alternating current network providing 110 volts RMS to 12 volts direct current supply. In the USA, the AC network provides 110 volts root mean square under 60 Hertz. First of all, we will need to lower the voltage to get basically from 110 volts RMS to something around 15 volts RMS. This can be done by using a classic transformer. This needs to be followed by an AC-DC conversion. This can only be handled by a rectifier bridge based on four diodes. The voltage at the output of this rectifier will be oscillating between zero volt and the voltage at the output of the transformer at two times the frequency of the AC network. By adding a big capacitor at the output of the rectifier, will make this voltage smooth and close a direct voltage. Finally, by placing a voltage regulator at the output of that capacitor, we will get a fixed voltage at the output ready to supply an electrical load. The voltage at the input of the regulator must be slightly higher than the output voltage selected for a proper regulation. Let's build this on LT Spice. Place a power supply and configure it to provide, for instance, 110 volts under 60 Hertz by selecting the sign option. For the transformer, we need to place two inductors for the primary and the secondary and make them work like a transformer by adding this statement using SPICE directive. The desired transformation ratio can be achieved by selecting the inductance of each of the two inductors. Let's refresh our memory. The transformation relationship between the number of turns, the voltage, and the inductance is as shown on the screen. By the choosing a value of the input inductance, we can calculate the output inductance in accordance with the desired transformation ratio or simply with the output voltage. In this case, let's take 2 mil Henry for the primary winding and 15 volts for the output voltage at the secondary winding. The inductance of the secondary winding in this case must be around 37 microhenry. For the rectifier, let's just take some diodes available in library. The value of the bulk capacitor depends on the current of the load, the frequency, and the desired ripple voltage. Let's consider 1000 microfarads. For the voltage regulator, let's take the LT1083 that is already in the library. The ADJ pin allows you to select the output voltage. In our case, we need 12 volts. The selection is done by the use of two resistors that need to be calculated according to the instructions of the datasheet. The output capacitor is important here to make the output voltage smooth and to support any transients called by the load, its value can be also calculated, but let's just take 100 microfarads in this example. Let's now launch the simulation and display some beautiful waveforms. We have got a stabilized 12 volts on the load. This looks great and meets the calculations expectations. You can see the waveform of the voltage at primary and the secondary windings. The transformation is done correctly. You can see that the voltage at the secondary is around 15 volts, as expected during the calculation of the inductances we selected in the schematic. The voltage after the rectifier bridge is the same than at the bulk capacitor level. Let's highlight the ripple voltage at the input of the regulator. We can measure this using two cursors that can calculate the delta between the two peaks. In this case, the ripple voltage is around 800 millivolts peak to peak. The ripple voltage can be influenced by many parameters, the load current, 
the frequency of the input AC source, and the value of the bulk capacitor. Let's figure this out on LT SPICE. The same way the ripple voltage will be reduced if we decrease the load current. Or by increasing the frequency. Since the frequency of the input voltage and the current of the load cannot be changed in general, we can only adjust the value of the bulk capacitor. The higher the current, the higher the capacitance. Here, for example, if you want to supply 1 ampere, you will need a much higher capacitance. Otherwise, the ripple voltage at input of the regulator will be much important preventing the regulation. I feel really honored that you reached the end of this video. It will be highly appreciated if you like and you subscribe to my channel to support its success and receive always the notification when a new lesson is uploaded. Thank you and see you soon.